I'm Captain Doug Stamp with Texas Fish Tips and she's weekly fish report. Starting out over in front of Dagger. Early morning, there's some nice reds up on these banks all down through here. Uh, a little deeper water, there's been some nice trout right out in here on Croker, right in here. Mullet has been the best bait for the redfish. Cut fin perch has been working really well. Also, if you'll get over here in this intercoastal waterway down through here, these edges down through here, pin perch, live mullet, and croaker has been working for some pretty good trout down through here. Over in South Bay, when we've had some of these tides that drop the water way down low, there's been some schools of black drum right here on this point right here, and they take shrimp. There's also been some scattered reds all up and down through here, and they've been hitting live mullet, cut mullet, and pin perch. Here at Brown Root Flats, there's been some nice black drum right up down in through here. Also, there's been some reds right out in here on cut pin perch and live pin perch. Also, a few reds right here on the very edge of this on cut pin perch. Over at Big Bayou, there's been some schools of black drum right in here, and they've been right up down through here. Uh, shrimp with crab bites, the crab flavored ones that seem to be working the best. Also, here at Corpus Christi Bayou, in this area right in here, there's been some schools of drum the same way. And if you want to do some wade fishing, go right down through here with croaker and uh, live pin perch has been working best on the trout and the red right down through here. All right, there's been some nice trout right down through the short on wade fishing with croakers. Uh, but the big deal is if you've got an airboat or real skinny water, you can get back in here in South Lake, these lakes back in here. There's been some schools of black drum just loading up on them with shrimp and crab bites. Thanks for watching. I'm Captain Doug Stanford.